What's up guys? How are you doing today? So, yeah, actually, I was actually planning on skipping the night yesterday, but I, uh, I fell asleep. So I kind of failed, didn't I? And I have a night shift coming up, so it is always going to be disastrous. So we're here in my barrack. So the barrack you unlock when you hit uh, officer level in uh, in the game with the where is it uh it's actually in profile with your grand company so we're a uh, second storm lieutenant and you get the barracks and your barracks you can yeah you you can get a uh, eight npcs and you can train them if i don't know if there's actually people to recruit right now there's no new recruits uh, you can actually train them doing training courses these are my four guys and you can have them train and also make them do dungeons and leveling them up squadron missions you got a visa currently they're doing the military courier and i will just work through it so the goal actually is to get around like level 50 you could use these to run I don't know, like dungeons. If, if you don't like running th them with people, I guess. Playing an MMO, not liking to play with people. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. I won't. Uh, I don't like running with NPCs. So, uh, usually, usually, I, I do a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, I already went to the uh, to the free company, but what I haven't done is, is the roulette. Uh, and usually, I just stick to the main storyline. It's it's kind of obnoxious, but you know, what do you do, right? What do you, what do, you do? Uh, if we go in as a tank, we'll, uh, we'll get a bit of a bonus. I have no issue doing it as a tank. So let's go join that one. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be too much. I've been doing Ultima so many times now that it's getting tiresome. Okay, so it's story time today. Always fun, Praetorium. Let's go say to the party. Hi all. Uh, yeah, not, not the most difficult dungeon. You can't skip anything from it, though, which is... I don't know why. I, I really do understand why. Okay, let's make sure that we uh, got something to drink. And... That we at least make sure that our um, additional enmity is on. Also, my phone is on. I don't know if anyone is going to contact us. But uh, if they do, I might just pick up. Kind of depends, right? Alright. Let's, let's go. We have a... It seems like... Oh my god. You are very scarcely dressed. Miss Bunny. And it's a slumber party by the looks of it. I'm not the only one actually wearing armor. I'm, I'm worried that I might just be... Let's go. Uh, let's make sure that we every now and then just do this one. I personally, although the Ultima is just one big fight, I don't really mind this that much. Like, there's a, a few cutscenes here and there. Uh, apparently, there's some work away around it. Um. But yeah, yeah, I'm not going to be bothered by it. We'll just do it. We'll just undergo it together. Like we usually do. Kind of wait until it's open. Making sure the others don't get any penalties or actually damage. Should be open right now. We'll just rush to the end. Make sure that we get everyone. 
Otherwise, it's going to be a very short-lived party. Making sure we don't do anything too stupid. Hey, okay, come on, man. Hey, we'll keep doing whatever. Hey, the the round is gone. Let's go. Don't get into the rounds. Not that it really matters. Like, yeah, I'm just trying to pick. Keep me me mechanics. Rush it. Rush this thing. So usually I do don't do this. So I think this might be the first time I'm actually doing this on the stream. I know I run the dungeon before, but. You know, this actually has the duty finder. I also think I I should really tune down. I, I get loud. I am aware of that. So while we wait for this story to continue, let me just change a tiny bit of my mic setting. Uh, just emphasis slightly. Go to negative two. Save that. You know, what I don't like is that it's not being voiced, right? And I would have liked seeing it voiced. Well, you know, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. it is what it is. We just wait. Just waiting to get through this in one go. Ooh. Oh, it's going to be... This, it's not going to be pretty weather, really. What did they... What did they... Sound? So I was actually play, I was planning on playing Vampire Survivors yesterday. Now, me falling asleep really didn't help with that. Let's take a look at the weather. Uh, you. Oh, yeah. Actually, it was raining. It was. I don't think so. I think they're wrong. <laughs> okay, it's going to be raining through the night. Oh, that is perfect. Oh well. It is what it is. While we wait. Oh, to get this over with. Are they talking? It, it's it's very possible they might be. No, they're not. Uh, so the plan for today is... Uh, I'm not going to run all of the dungeons as a tank. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about queuing it up as, as my ninja, right? And then what I plan on doing is making sure making sure that I um, do a tiny bit of the the botanist and and minor work so we can start leveling those up I know that it is it's not going to be too high on my list but oh well um, for me that is absolutely perfectly fine Uh, finally fight time oh you know these fights they they aren't long at all especially this guy and uh, come on dude stop talking and go no, nobody gives a red ass about what you want yeah, maybe him Make sure that we got some of those protections up. So don't worry about anything. And also make sure we do. Ooh, how's the skill called? Like beast cage, go at five again, do it some more. Hey, 
I always forget that one skill actually, which is kind of stupid. Uh, it's it's this one, the in uh, inner furet, which is actually so powerful, and I just keep forgetting about it. So I might need to relocate that particular skill. To somewhere more convenient. Uh, let's get you. Can't go further than that. Guys, destroy it. I, I think if we're lucky, but I don't think we are. I think everyone in this particular group has actually done um, this one before. So we're not getting any bonus of it. Select that one and use the second one. There we go. And we'll just wait. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what's going on. I really need to get myself to a hairdresser again. You know, it would have been great if we could skip these. Like, if the game realizes that everyone has, like, the skip cutscenes on and it's actually skipping it. That would have been great. I know there is one way of getting past this. And that is, um, like, disconnecting and, and reconnecting probably cuts the cutscenes. But you'll have to unplug, like, your internet cord. I think it's so... It's such a hassle. Like, I would have to climb under my desk to do it. Oh, there's no way I would ever do it. I wouldn't even consider doing it. Maybe if you're having, like, these Wi-Fi connections, like playing on a laptop or something, would probably work. Not really in the center of my screen, am I? Yeah. There we go. So I might, might just play some Vampire Survivors today as well. Um, just to see if it is. I know it, it's it's not the newest game and the hype is pretty much over. Um, but it was recently on sale and I came across it. And I'm like, yeah, why not? Right? So from now on it's just boss fight after bloody boss fight. And here is another one, cutscene. I really love the armor with the look of the character. And I used to feel quite awkward playing as a female character. But that, that's pretty much over. Quite like the look on in this more than on my Shrek. I've been said it so many times, like, they need to go back and do, like, the MSQ, make that voice. I think they did that with uh, with World of Warcraft. 
And I think that would really make the experience better for uh, for new players. Like myself as well. Like I'm dyslectic as crazy, and but but I need to read, and on the, in order for me to understand what the story is about, that's why I'm with doing this, like reading. Not this. I've done this a few times already, so I'm not not going to redo the reading every time. But with the new the MSQ stuff, yeah, sure. Uh, with the blue quest, yeah, sure. And I know there is a very very lengthy one as well, which is the um, the, the the gentleman. Uh, Hildebrand, Gildebrand. Uh, I don't know what he's called again. Uh, it's quite a story, and I want to make sure that we get to the end of it. There's a dungeon in there as well, which I, I don't have. So we might. I don't want to be sidetracked right now again. Like after this dungeon, it's going to be MSQ stuff, right? Then if we do need to run a dungeon, I think about doing it as my ninja. And because the tank already is like level 55 in, in a minute. I also need to start doing another class. Like, and, and I'm not talking about the, the botanist or the miner, but something to play around with. Like something to do the duty roulettes with. And I was thinking about doing the paladin. And... I can replay through the story stuff. Like, I can just play that by myself, not bothering anyone with it, and then just do the new game plus for the class story. And I'm thinking I might be doing that, so also I get more progression out of uh, my own character and also my own game time and amusement for that. Which I think is very important. But we'll see. I think the fight is about to start. Like, he should be summoning his, uh, his weapon. Like, right now or so. I'm also thinking about getting another webcam. A better one. Like, I like my mic. My voice is just my voice. Like, I don't want to change too much of it. I was watching a video from... I don't know who he was again. The he had... He, I don't know why, there was this period where everyone was boosting their base like crazy. I actually reduce uh, my base, I believe like negative one or something, because apparently I have a very bassy voice, which is very weird. I, I don't understand that, that sort of stuff. I usually just watch videos about how to, how to do my mic, like I don't have a keen ear of hearing everything about that sort of stuff. Anyways, let's go. So this one actually does do tank buster every now and then. Uh, so let's get started with that. There's the tank buster. I'm thinking I might want to get my tomahack away. Let's uh, wait until we have a full meter and then we'll do four of them by using the F5 option. I'm not going to go there, that's their job doing that. So now, okay, let's go. Oh, he's actually going right now. Huh? One, two, three, and four. That's the fastest way I can go, but that F, that one skill, extremely important. I do sometimes use Tomac. This is such an easy fight. There we go. 
Yeah, I'm think. Yeah, we should probably move one of the lowest skills that I'm not using. Like, there's a skill that every time you get, like, damage, there's a small percentage of it being, like, reflected, which I think is strong, but I hardly use. But there's one to the right of it in my bar, and I have no clue. Where the hell did he just go through? Like, he this just vanishes. Also, for those of you who... Okay. Oh, buddy. Dog was like... Uh, we finally got the... Um, unidentified Delirium spot for the submarine. <laughs> so we can finally try getting a second submarine, which is going to be amazing. Going to be great. Can't wait. To actually get that second submarine in. So we actually also... We, we're working on a second airship. We already can actually add a second airship, which will speed up a few things. That's going to be nice. I'll have to look into what materials I need to unlock all of them, because we're going to be doing the Aoife wheel to get the level 3 buffs. But I do want to get all of the... Uh, I know I know I'm going all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I do want to make sure that I get... All of the tanking classes. Don't have to go there. Like, you can just stay over here. Only one of them has to touch the... Um, the contraption. And now it's getting voiced. Huh? Now, now it's like, yeah. Let's do some voiced stuff, mate. This is so cringy. Did you really have to say don't you, don't you think about dying? Ah, here we go. Final boss. You know, actually these fights, they're not difficult at all. Tell me, for whom do you fight? Well, do more than you do. Eorzea's unity is forged oh, yeah, of falsehoods. Sure its city-states are built on deceit, and its faith is an instrument of deception. It is not but a cobweb of lies. To believe in Eorzea is to believe in nothing. In Eorzea, Beast tribes often summon gods to fight in their stead, though your comrades only rarely respond in kind. Which is strange, is it not? Are the twelve otherwise engaged? I was given to understand they were your protectors. If you truly believe them, your guardians, why do you not repeat the trick that no, served you? Of course, you don't have to do this, don't you? Like, you get the 350 from the roulette, but you can also do the leveling dungeon, like 50, 60, 70, and level 80, which also gives you 100 tomes as a bonus. And also, I feel like a bit of a base addition for. Uh, for Except defeating the this. boss, I don't know if we can actually get, see if we can get a few additional ones over here. Uh, doesn't look like so. Is that really in, in, is that in here as well?
Your masters lack the strength to do otherwise. Dialogue, man. Seriously. For the world of man to mean anything, man must own the world. Mm -hmm. To this end, he hath fought ever to raise himself through conflict, to grow rich through conquest. And when the dust of battle settles, it is ever the strong who dictate the fate of the weak. Well, that's actually kind of true. Oh, let's go. Oh yeah, he just now, he went Super Saiyan on us, which I think is very strange. Like, what does it change? Like, what's, what's the point in going from uh, Black Wolf to Golden Wolf? Check like she's a summoner or excellent or she's a healer. She's a scholar. The dancer that which was the, the bunny on the right. It kinda looked cool. Alright, let's go. Sure, we start building up. He's going to be doing a skill which um, brings a few Colossus to attack into a certain direction right now. And now we're no longer getting hit. I thought actually I was outside of it, doesn't really. <laughs> it's kind of stupid though. Okay, we got a full bar. Three, one, two. Three. Works actually best if you have that. Uh, how do you say it? Uh, what's this killer called again? Berserk on. Well, we're already having it at 47%. Everyone is so massively over leveled. Just killing these guys. Can't do more than just doing my rotation. Yeah, I'm actually going to be replacing number 12. This is going really fast actually. I'm I'm actually impressed by that. Alright, go. Did you? That was really fast, I like that. I, I think it's fast. Um Is it? I'm not sure. Play a recommendation. I like the scholar did a really good work. We just wait, hopefully. I'll wait until everyone is gone. There we go. Let's take a look. So we've got 621. Can we see how much that we got? That's kind of stupid. Can I add that to the battle tab?
Is there a loot option? Own loot, other loot, apply. There we go. This way we can actually go back and just take a look. So the plan right now is uh, we'll just go to... Let's go outside of this. Maybe There might be a blue quest. I'm not sure of that. But I do remember there might be one. Uh, apparently no. Uh, which is fine. Let's go. Oh, it's finally sunny. You know how many days I've been through this? Where it's been... So... Gloomy. Oh. Just missed my mark there. Let's go to the... If right over there. We'll switch to the... To the ninja. Where is that little... Where is she? I always miss her. I can't find her. I know that she's here. There she is. Oh, the tiniest representative they have. Okay, uh, let's talk to you. Uh, I don't think we can buy much. But... Three, five, four. Yeah, that's that's not much at all. I don't like the. Let's go for gloves. I think they're most obvious that we don't have the right one. And also, no, actually, this is five ten. Let's get the five ten one, uh, and we'll see how fast that we get the other one. Man, it was going really fast. I like that. They really did good. There you go. So we now have pants on. Let's uh, update gear. Yeah, it's finally now recommended to Ninja. It's no longer getting the, the Warrior one. But it's 123, which... This is now the highest geared one. I don't mind about that. Anyways. Uh, enter the Labyrinth of the Ancients. Uh, that is the raid uh, I'm not going to do right now. I know that I need to do it. My first pick. to turn that off as well. We got a lot of these missions. Still waters. One, let's go. MSQ stuff. You are going to be reported for RMT activities. And actually, what I like about NC Soft's doing. I say NC Soft. Why the why the F do I say NC Soft? Uh, what I like about. Um, Square Enix is that they actually do report to you what actions they undertook like whenever they did a maintenance like how many bots were deleted how many accounts were suspended how many people lost whatever you know I like that I really do No, it also feels a bit sluggish today. Let's go. So this is the very first mission of the... The MSQ. For 2.2. Into the Maelstrom or something. And this is, is no longer interesting to us. So we just always will go for the money. Because why not? Truly, there is no rest for the weary. Scarce had I begun to make myself at home when I received a request for assistance from the Alama and Sun Minerals Concern. It would appear their storehouse in Horizon has been a target of a series of covert robberies. Minor as they seem in isolation, occasional discrepancies in the manifest were long dismissed as clerical errors. It was only during the Concern's annual audit that a pattern became apparent. Significant, sec, significant quantities of crystals and only crystals were missing. I need hardly tell you what that may imply. True. <laughs> and we're going to be fighting another um, primal. The brass blade charged with the investigation the ta of investigating the theft believe that someone within the concern is selling the crystals as for profit. Alas. They have as yet been unable to identify the likely suspect. 
and the concerned proprietors have grown frustrated with the lack of progress. Needless to say, I would not have agreed to intervene had the stolen goods been of mere monetary value. If they, if there is even a possibility that the theft act, that the thief acts out of self-interest, but in service of a primal, we can ill afford to wait for the blades to realize their mistake. Pray the part for Horizon at our earliest convenience. Rendezvous with your stole, and when you uh, when you arrive, see and Tanshrit have already Tanshrit actually have already begun the preliminary investigation. I have every confidence that the three of you will be uh, will get to the bottom of these t uh, thefts. I only hope our fears prove unfounded when you do. Okay, let's go. I don't like that. This this. What is that? Is that? What's that emble of emblem? Like whatever. Okay, let's go. Uh, we still have some of these tickets. Uh, when we do that, we are going to be summoning our chocobo because I've been slacking a lot with the poor bird. And let's also quickly check him out. He is still rank 7. Yeah. That should have been better. Uh, I believe we have some onions in the FC bank. Unless they've been stolen, but I highly doubt that. Uh, also, we uh, were taking a bit of a break from... Ooh, we're actually going into the wrong direction. It, it's so normal for me to... Oh, I'm an idiot. Yep, okay, never mind. It was Horizon, it wasn't... I know we need to go in here, but at some point... Because of the picture we saw when we clicked the mission. Uh, Ixion spawned, it was fun. Ixion spawned. It was fun, very spamming, but... Uh, the race spamming for, for the win. Uh, okay. Um, did you get the mount? I think you get a mount from it, I'm not particularly sure. Oh, you stole us over there. Oh, um, I've already spoken in length with the brass blade of the rose. Albeit to little avail, it would seem that the thieves took great pain, uh, pains to conceal their activities. Uh, oh, he got it years ago. Ah, oh, it's just for the win. Uh, I could go into further detail, but your time might be better spent in conversation with Fufulupa. He is the officer in charge with leading the investigation and would only be repeating what he related to me. If aught, if aught elude my attention, perhaps it will not elude yours. Okay. Sounds like fun. Um, I did update the... Uh, I'm actually not going to talk about that right now when I'm streaming. I was going to say, I did update the list of materials we need. For the uh, workshop. Which is actually great, because now we got the, the, the Lyric ship thing. We don't have to do every... Um, every 20 hours a new one. We can do long flights again. Oh, hello there, Uno, was it? You stole us, said to expect you. Terrible business, these theft. We have yet to confirm the quantity of the crystals stolen. But I dare say it might be greater than... Ah. But never mind that, I have news to share. A short while ago, the driver of a heavy, la uh, heavy leaden carriage refused to hold for inspection and broke through one of our checkpoints at the Royal Elegant Sunway. The guard bolted off towards the eastern Teleland, where, thank the gods, I hear that our colleagues were able to apprehend them without further incident. A speeding carriage? That would seem a curious choice for thieves. Of, wait, wait, wait. That would seem a curious choice for thieves of such proven cunning. Yet the Alma, uh, the Alma ja have a foothold in the Eastern Talon. I'm thinking they're trying to blame it on them. And what of their cargo? Did, the car did they carry the crystals we seek? Uh, we, have, we should receive a report any moment now, but I fail to see what else it could be. Oh, there he goes. Uh, did you miss me, friends? I'm back, but I fear I come bearing disappointing news. Or, on second thought, perhaps it's good news after all. Tenshred, what have you been off to? 
I figured you had everything under control here, so I took a brief excursion to the east to check up on our Al uh, Majah friends. And wouldn't you believe it? It hap I happened upon a. I happened. I happened upon a runaway carriage on the way, and even was able to do my small part of helping our friends in the Blast Braid intercept it. In all my eagerness, I have never seen such prodigious quantities of sunness. That was a sunness. The blades were calling it one of their greatest holes they've ever seen. They stole the stolen crystals on the other hand were nowhere to be found. So I'm going to be saying this sunness is, is some sort of a drop. Is that so, alas? I suppose we have no choice but to resume our search elsewhere. We should reassess our options as well. Come with us sooner. Uh, oh, he's actually just over here. Okay, fine. Could we just not speak over here then? Fine. Except, uh, against all exceptions, it would seem that Al-Majah are innocent in this particular spate of crimes. By all indications, they have yet to replenish the stores of crystals exhausted during the last attempt of summoning Ifrit. What I cannot fathom is why anyone else would go such lengths to obtain crystals, and in such quantities. I, it cannot be that we are dealing with, a, with simple thieves, and their motives were profit. Why would they limit their trade to crystals alone? Plainly, plainly, we are missing something. While you think about what it might be, I shall inform Uranger of our progress, or lack of it. Now then. Wait, did he just spoke? Tis I. The situation may be more complicated than we anticipated. That finally, they're starting to do it. Indeed, I shall remain watchful. Ere thou goest, another matter requireth thine attention. A young maiden, full eager to... Wherefore inquirest thou of her fairness? Oh, very well. Be she damsel or devil, I shall direct her steps to Revenant's toll. Save thine insinuations for one given to such impropriety. Thou shalt not find me amenable. Oh, I love these guys. Far across the sea from the land of Doma have we traveled. We seek audience with the ruler of these lands. Who here speaks for you? Uh, we already know Doma because we are ninjas. Okay. Any bright ideas? A solitary flash of insight? No? Well then. For what of a better suggestion, I say we try pricking Fufalu's brain again. Who knows? We might work together. We might. We may yet find some something of use nested, nested away within it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just distracted. Uh, a lot. I'm always distracted. Because we had our very first, like, voiced thing. Uh, again. And it's been a while. Oh, but it's good to see you return. I have something... I have given some thought of the matter, and I just hit upon a disturbing possibility. How could I have been so blind? Calm yourself, Fifalupa. What is this disturbing possibility of which you speak? 
I was contemplating as to how the thieves activities escaped unnoticed for so long, and then it came to me. What if there's someone amongst our own ranks conspiring with them, a traitor in our own midst? It would be the most unfortunate if your peers proved well if your fears proved well founded, for Philippa. Indeed, if for any reason of security the concerns decide to transfer the concern decided to transfer the remaining crystal stored in Horizon to yet another location, their plans would be discovered the moment the brass blades were informed. Ah, but such a shipment would surely be well guarded. Would thieves as willy as our as ours risk open confrontation? Mayhap not, but neither would the concern be eager to present them with such a obvious target. Nay, they might instead elect to carry out the transfer in secret to entrust the goods to, let's say, a lone Mikote miner traveling without escort as to not attract undue attention. But who? Ah, I see, yes, the concerns may well elect to do that, but to travel with such a huge, uh, such much cargo would be a tremendous task indeed, and this miner would certainly need to rest upon the way, mayhap north of the bridge to Hamerley? A fine spot for a rest, would you not agree? You, know? you lie in wait to the north, and I shall do the same to the south. And I'm going to be the one traveling, I think. <clears throat> Forgive me, my friends, but I have received new orders. I must inform my mind at once. That blade, man, it's too massive for him. <clears throat> oh, well, that's fast. Call me a cynic, but it I, but I would be surprised if these thieves lay down their arms and surrender. See that you come prepared and offer some, and offer them some encouragement. Okay, so it's going to be a fight. Just fun with me, man. Where do we need to go? Right over there. Um, let's not fly. Just run. Junky <laughs> boss fat. Okay. Stake look, so we need to be over here. We shall be standing watch. And then after this mission, I'll get something else to drink. Coffee? Not the best to lubricate one's throat, right? Okay, we'll do one rotation. I need to keep practicing these, uh, these things. You know, they're not too difficult, but... Let's go deal with him first. If you don't practice them, you will actually forget. Wow. That was... Wow, that was a hit. Wait, what? Why did he attack? Why did you attack? Did I actually hit them? Oh, it is your Stola. Stubborn to the last as expected. Are you unharmed? Wait, will you say that to me? Like, I'm the one carrying weapons. You got... Well, you actually have an axe. A gang of sea wolf thieves. And in talent, no less. I suppose this is the first time for, every, for everything. Sea wolves? All of them? Ah. Aye. And all with the same taste in facial tattoos. Blue. In case you were wondering. Blue. Our thieves are a long way from home. I thought the, uh, the, well, the sea serpents had the blue face. Okay, the start of this game. Yeah, even this character is like... Dentured. If you would be so good to attend to outstanding matters in Horizon, I have inquiries to make. 
to Horizon then. Fifalupa will want to hear about our meeting with the thieves. Shall we teleport or just travel by Chocobo? I think I'll travel by Chocobo. On behalf of the brand Blades of the Rose, I thank you for your service to Horizon. Ah, but we are, we have not been idle. When you were a few, we succeeded in identifying the traitor within our ranks. That's fast. Is that so? Then, by your leave, I should very much like to have a word with a fellow in private. Ah, no, I'm afraid that will not be possible. Regrettably, he um, managed to subdue the unit of brass Blades dispatched to detain him. And made, wow, and made good his escape? Oh, for the love, how did he manage that exactly? Your men haven't been been sampling the sumness we confiscated, have they? Or was he a giant in disguise? No, he was quite strong. A sea wolf, a Lominzian born and raised, I believe. But not to worry, we'll find him. You have my word on that. I see. Pray keep me apprised of any developments. Yes, she's so standing next to me. Understood. I have a link shell too. You could just call me. I fear our time together is at an end, my friend. Your services are required elsewhere. Awfully disappointing, I know, but one must follow where duty leads. You might try to look a little disappointing. Or you might try to look a little disappointed. Or do you mean to give me another one of your stunning nods? You do, don't you? Yep. <laughs> All right, let's get the money. Okay, ten shred. Uh, Mother of Exiles. Uh, before we start this, let's get something to drink. that out of the way um do i go for some of these dies shop selling price 216 i think we'll go for the millicorn yellow die because there is no selling price it means that might be very very worth it the dissident bid me to tell you to make for vespa bay where young alfinet awaits your coming most eagerly it was he who requested your assistance, then he should have called me myself. Some commotion or incident, I am not privy to the details. While you have... While you do whatever it is that, it is that Alfinot has planned for you, I shall endeavor to track down your traitorous blaz, brass blade. And when I do, you may rest assured that we'll have our answers. And you are such a brute. Now, since I've already... I, I used one of those tickets. Let's just... Uh, go like this. I don't know how long we'll need them. Okay, there's Alfinot. 
You, wait, are you kidding me? You are late? Oh, I took the bird out for a walk, you ass. No matter. I know where our visitors are heading. From what I've been able to gather, this vessel belongs to a band of domans who seek an audience with the Sultanate. Are you familiar with Doma? Yes. You are familiar with Doma, yes? In Onchen. I'm a bloody ninja. Yes. Well, like the rest of the nation of the Eastern Continent, it is ruled by the Guardian Empire. Given our visitors' unannounced arrival, as well as the state of their ship, I suspect that they'll leave their homeland under the best of circumstances. Needless to say, I should be very interested to hear their tale. And most importantly, what they know of the current state of affairs in the Empire. Such information could prove most useful. We would be fools not to pursue this opportunity. Do you not think? Do you not think? <laughs> Come with me to Uldaune, unless I'm mistaken, and I am rarely mistaken. You are so fucking full of yourself, that's incredible. You will find that the Domans bickering with the Sultan sworn at the Royal Promenade. You are uncertain of your role in the proceedings. In, ass in assurance, if our guests are not themselves Imperial agents, it seems fair to assess, uh, to assume that they may be being pursued by some. And if not, who better than you to have a hand in the event... And if not? Okay. In, the, uh, in the hand of the event of the unforeseen diplomatic incident. Besides, I do enjoy your sparkling repertory. Satisfied? Good. I shall see you in Ulda. Can I... I just go there. I believe that from this 2.2 version, it's, it's going to be... more common. For voiced things to happen. So let's go to the Chamber of Rule. No matter how many times you ask, without the necessary permissions, none shall pass. Pray understand, good sir, we have not the leisure to lock or to lodge a formal petition. Time is of the essence. All I ask is that you summon your superior, allow me to plead my case. Surely you can grant us this small kindness. Away with you, the darken, uh, the, and darken these doors no longer. I will not ask again. You know not what you do. <coughs> I gather your pleas fell upon deaf ears. A loyal man with a cold heart. I know his kind well. I hope that you find me more to your liking. Elfinut Lavenure at your servants. A friend. Which, I believe, makes me very nearly unique in this part of the world, at least. Very indeed are your allies in Ulda. A few indeed are your allies in Ulda. Yet you will need some if you wish to endear yourself to the wealthy and powerful. Pray join me and my associate to the quicksand, where you may explain your situation to us, and we shall see if there is aught we can do to help. Right, let's go onward to the quicksand it is. Adventurer's Guild.
And there's our Finaut. We have traveled some several thousand miles across the sea from the nation of Doma in hopes that we might find sanctuary in these lands. Isn't this the best? Guys, you will hear me speak less and less. Oh, you must be so happy. Sanctuary, Lady Yugiri. I, lying within Othard, Doma was under the dominion of the Galian Empire, as I'm sure you are aware. When the War of Succession broke out in Galamald, we aspired an opportunity to free ourselves from the yoke of Imperial oppression and took up arms. Only to be crushed. And so I gathered what few domans escaped the reckoning and guided them hither to your shores. A War of Succession? Then the Emperor... Forgive me. You said that Doma was under Imperial rule, did you not? Doma is gone. Raised to the ground as an example to the other provinces. Mm. Twelve have mercy. And your people. On a ship anchored in Vesper Bay, flying borrowed colors. Many were complicit in the rebellion, or are kin to those who were. They will not come ashore until I send word that it is safe to do so. It makes a lot of sense. Also, borrowed colors. I sought an audience with your rulers, but was summarily refused. Kind of makes sense. The lords of Ulda are not wont to entertain foreign refugees without suitable encouragement. Mayhap I was foolish to expect otherwise. But our supplies run low and we have young ones in urgent need of care. I have seen the tents outside the gates, however. We are not the first to seek asylum, nor will we be the last. Be that as it may, Ulda is no friend to Garlemald. Your tale would stir the hearts of many men and women here. The Sultana and the Syndicate will not be so easily swayed. But I shall see that you are granted an opportunity to plead your case. This is within your power? Well, far be it from me to boast, but I do have the ear of certain influential individuals. That is... that is really boasting. I am in your debt. <clears throat> Lady Yugiri, forgive me for observing, but... Your choice of attire seems like to evoke feelings of mistrust. Men are wont to fear the unfamiliar. We know this from experience. We seek only to spare the people of Uldar unnecessary disquiet. I shall defer to your experience then. I thank you for your understanding. It seems I have urgent business with the Flame General. I leave our guests in your capable hands. So, what I'm giving the impression to, the impression to this is like... As me, like as an Ura, that is not one of the starting races in this game. Like I'm going to be assuming that everything we've seen, so like Lalafell to a uh, what's what's this human type called again? A high Iru something. Uh, we have the the Shrek lookalike, and we have the uh, the cat persons, the Mo Mutik, and then you have these elves. So I'm going to be assuming that the Aur Aura. Which I going to be assuming by the looks of her is. She is. It's, it's actually a, a race that is brought in the game. Like eventually like these these, these bunny people were. Uh, which I've completely... I don't know the name of at all. Anyways. 
Let's talk to uh, Yuguri over here. And I don't think it's going to be voiced again, but we'll see. If I may, madam, as, you, as I said earlier, we have been at sea for several moons and our supplies are all but spent. If uh, I have not the heart to repeat the tales of our tribu uh, tribulation, Tribulation, yeah, it's electro. Nor would I please you to listen to them. I think, suffice to say, however, sacrifices have been made. Though it shames me to beg for more when you have already offered so much. Desperation compels me, good madam. If you and your associates could spare any provisions, anything at all, I would go. It would go a long way to lessen the suffering for my people. Yeah, I, I got money. I'm, I'm I'm basically rich. So let's go talk to the proprietor, Momidi. Hells, why didn't you come? Uh, why didn't you say so soon, uh, Une? Come, uh, sh of course I'll help. You couldn't have picked a better day. To tell the truth, a wealthy merchant and his entourage were due to have a banquet here on the uh, morrow. See, but just sent word that they can't come, meaning I've got a boatload of food stuff and no one to feed. Best of all, they paid for the lot in advance. <laughs> Go on, call on, oh my god, Fuduria, Fu Friduri, Friduri and Katrin at the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Tell them I sent, I said to ship the little prince's order to the walking sand. Oh, and if they argue, just show them those letters. That should set them straight. Why shouldn't I just give them right, like, right away? That would be a lot easier, isn't it? Anyways, um, can I jump over that? I can run, jump really high. Oh my god, almost. What's he doing, actually? Level 70, Killer Instinct. So that probably is another quest. Exchange. Uh, there's Catherine. The pot watch. And there is the tradecraft merchant. Uh, my, 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 that's a rather odd request. Maybe you misheard her instructions. Not really. You know, you shouldn't encourage them like this. They'll start to expect it. You mark my words. Okay, so they don't have the best uh, dealings with uh, refugees. There's also one other thing that I want to do here. And we need to go to the armorer. And we're going to be getting ourselves some level 1 gear. And the level 1 gear is going for the miner and the botanist. And the... Dealings with this is that if you go to my bottom right, uh, you can see there's control and perception, which you will need for gathering. And we only go for the lowest that we could get. So it's actually quite fast that we can turn that off, so we won't be running butt naked. So, level 5 bandana. Level 6. Uh, level 6 as well. Level 5. And level 5. So that is done. Now we also kind of want to do this. Let's cancel that. With the disciple stuff. Oh, that is actually... Um, for disciple of, uh, of war. And I think there should be another one. Of course, that's in the other one. So we're going to just going to be getting uh, eye patch level five, a hem uh, tonic level one, uh, gloves, a pants and boots, and now we'll do that for the magic. And this is all classes. I should probably have gone with that. Because I think this is all level 1 stuff. Which is fine. So let's get the level 1 stuff. 
It's level 5 actually. Well, that's fine. Level 1. And level 1. There we go. I know I sold all of this. Uh, and uh, that might have been a mistake. But we're going to be putting this into our armory. And hopefully I will never forget... And sell all of this stuff again. Now why do this? Quite simple. We're going to be switching really quickly to our botanist. Who looks like this. I don't like running around like that. And at least now we have some gear. Now you see all of this. This is how I had my thing up on my other classes. I'm not going to remove all of these. Same goes with him. With the miner. Equip that jazz. This is better stuff. Uh, at least they think it is. It's not. It is. Because of the level I think. Yeah, I kind of don't want to wear it like that. And put this on. There we go. There we go. Looks somewhat better than being butt naked, isn't it? Now, the prospecting, all of this, uh, we'll go over that at some point. Not right now. Let's go back over here. And to this tradeful merchant. She's in the business of feeding refugees now. They normally want to question me uh, mistress and nobody's judgment, but that doesn't seem wise to me. I'll not speak for the children, but if you ask me, any man that can, can't earn a cross deserves to go hungry. Okay, I'm glad he didn't speak for the children then. You have to understand, like, the Uldarian, the, the, the people of Uldar have been receiving refugee after refugee. So, you, you have to understand, like, their struggles as well. Because they feel like they can't really grow as a people. Because they've been sending so many stuff towards their the campments outside of the city. And still, it's harsh. Adventurous guild. Here we go. Let's run into that. There we go. They didn't give you any trouble, did they? Good. Now go and tell Lady Yuguri. It's all in hand. I will do. I I dare not hope. I dared not hope for such magnanimity. Much less expected. Master's, uh, mistress Momadi is generous indeed. I shall be sure to thank her most humbly. I don't think she's very generous. Because it's already been paid for. I don't think she would... Relinquish food that was, you know, actual free. Because this is just paid food. Like she's giving someone's order away. It was not showing up. Lady Yuguri, I briefed the flame general on your situation. I think you will be pleased with his reply. Uh, have we been granted an audience? Before the Sultanate and the Syndicate both, we should return to the Royal Promenade at once. Alright. You have done so you have done much to us, Master Arfinod. I swear I shall return the favor. Not as owed, Lady Yuguri, for not has been given. This small favor you fairly won with your words, and it is with your words that you must win the favor of the syndicate. Uh, then I shall choose them with care. That's one thing I just don't do. You will be accompanying us, yes, the good. Your presence may serve to remind the syndicate of true, the true meaning of philanthropy. 
and that nothing so unpredictable will be required and that nothing so unpalatable will be required of them assuming the domains are willing to earn their keep come the flame general awaits us at the royal promenade go I don't need to see them walk away you know I will go this way. <laughs> so it's Robin, uh, Roba. And the one from the synagogue. Ah, pleasure, Une. The others are already inside. Let's not keep them waiting. To meet you at last, Your Grace. To mark this auspicious occasion, I should like to present to you the finest treasures our humble nation has to offer. Alas, the circumstances which have brought me here today have divested me of both time and dignity. I come before you as a pauper in direst need of aid to request that you grant my people asylum. Animal, 17th in the line of U, welcome you to our city. Be at ease, Lady Yugiri. Although I myself have heard the tale of your misfortune, I would ask that you recount it once more for the benefit of the others here present. As you wish, Your Grace. For many years, my nation, Doma, suffered under the yoke of imperial rule, and my people yearned to be free. Thus, when a war of succession broke out in Garlemald, we sought to take advantage of the chaos and reclaim our liberty. Alas, our enemy proved less preoccupied than we had hoped, and our rebellion was put down in the most brutal fashion. Those who survived, how many do they number? More than 200 souls huddle within the cramped confines of our own galleon's hold. Yet this figure accounts for but one of a number of ships which escaped the purge. It is my hope that you will allow us all to dwell within your walls. Should that prove unfeasible, however, I humbly ask that you accept as many of my people as your resources allow. Pray understand we do not beg a boon but propose instead an arrangement. We would serve as soldiers or tradesmen until our debt is repaid. What are the Syndicate's ah. opinions on this matter? I hate the Syndicate. I, for one, think it's a marvelous idea. Lady Yugiri and her people strike me as an industrious lot, and there are parts of the city which have yet to be fully restored. If they are willing to work, I see no reason not to let them. The head of the Mirage Trust is not known for his generosity. He sees profit in this. I agree. That said, these are foreign refugees. To admit them would require a formal resolution. Shall we call a vote? Finally got to one. Got one. That's a very fast way to put a vote. The law is the law. I am the law. Lord Lolorito? Tell me, are you blind or willfully ignorant? Even now, our streets are choked with the displaced victims of the Calamity and Alamegan refugees. They live hand to mouth, subsisting on aid provided by the immortal flames the cost of which grows ever higher. 
The wealth of Ulda is not without limits, my friends. And need I remind you that these refugees are prone to violence and criminal activity? You have all read the reports, I think. Without homes or employment, it is only a matter of time before men grow desperate and take that which they imagine has been unjustly denied them. Yet, knowing this, you would have us swell their ranks. Mayhap you think the brass blades and the flames are not hard pressed enough? That makes point. Some say the chairman of the East Aldenard Trading Company passes Gil thrice daily. This may explain how he came to be the wealthiest man in Uldar. Or it may simply be that he's ruthless beyond reckoning. Why are we watching? Oh, this is actually him. Never mind. Surely the Sultanate can support the few hundred domains Lady Yugiri represents. That our resources have been taxed, I do not deny. But we are hardly in danger of financial collapse. I move that an exception be made. An exception, Your Grace? I am suddenly reminded of a similar debate some years ago regarding a number of Alamegan refugees, if memory serves. What were your words that day? <sighs> ah, yes. The law is the law. And so our visitors remained in little Alamigo. Kind of weird that she's actually now voting for exception. Then why was she so strict then? Mayhap our wise and benevolent Sultana would be so good as to enlighten us as to which other of our laws should not be upheld. Mind your tongue, Lolorito. My lord, I share your concern for the welfare of our great nation, but we must endeavor to take a longer view. You know as well as I that people can be a resource still more precious than you. Precious or not, they were never yet so reliable. And unlike those who frequent your establishment, I have no desire to gamble with my future. Ulda's greatest asset is, and has ever been, her material wealth. We risk this at our peril. One need only look to Telegi Adelegi's example for evidence of the danger in allowing sentiment to dictate policy. How far the vaunted Mirage have fallen, both in repute and profitability, since he began employing refugees. How I choose to conduct my affairs is not your concern, my lord. A proposal has been tabled. Given its urgency, I move we forego further debate and call a vote. To accept the Doman refugees or not. Those in favor, I bid you remain. Those opposed, I bid you leave. That's more... That, uh, that's probably the better way of voting instead of raising thy hand. I guess they vote no. <laughs> yeah, even a shrug. Uh, don't they also leave? Would that it were within my power to welcome you and your people, Lady Yugiri. As you have observed, however, my authority in such matters is regrettably limited. Without the consent of the Syndicate, I cannot act. So you're a Sultan in name. Okay. I understand, Your Grace. And I appreciate all that you have done on our behalf. The nerve of the man! If that bastard had not forsaken the eastern trade route, little Alamigo would now be thriving. Oh, it's costing you money then. Oh, 
that you should have traveled so far under such dire circumstances only to be refused in this manner is utterly unconscionable. Pray, accept my sincerest apologies. Now that the Empire no longer poses an immediate threat, they see little reason to maintain the pretense of unity. The Monitorists have grown especially defiant of late. Lord Lolorito most of all. But this is neither the time nor place for that discussion. I love Robo. He's such a badass. Uh, so we were going with the yellow dye because there is no shop selling price. So I'm kind of hoping it will be at least more than a hundred a piece. We'll see. Promises to keep. Yeah, I don't care for the rings. As you have observed, Lolorito is not afraid to speak his mind, nor is he like to change it. Oft have one, uh, I have wondered how a man so skilled at weighing the worth of things should be so incapable of seeing the value in people. Bah, I will not waste no more words on him, not when the domains are yet in need of aid. Anyone, follow me to the Hall of Flames. Uh, what the hell is that? That's over there, okay. Could probably... Is there a teleport stone there? Not sure. Oh well. We'll just take this one. Go back to the crystal. <sighs> it's all... Again, it's gloomy. Come on, man. It's been gloomy for four days. I'll just pretend I did not see that thing with the umbrella. The syndicate has spoken. I see no point in moving that the matter be reconsidered. The monetarists have made their position clear. Agreed. Ulda is not an option. Nor are Limsula Minzo Gradania, I judge, given the state of their internal affairs, which leaves our Doman friends confined to a ship. God, the father of them huddled in an airless hold with no hope of better treatment. Would I had more time to find an alternative, a place not bound by the concerns of great nations. Come on, man, we just moved our base there. Reverend Tall. Menphilia, what is precisely, uh, what is it precisely what I wished? Oh, that is precisely what I wish to say. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? I understand the syndicate's decision, I do. We all wish to preserve that which is ours, especially when we believe it's under siege. But I cannot merely accept this judgment. Not while my people suffer. Would it be... Out of the question for the Sultan to accept us for a limited time, a week, mayhap, or even just a few days. Excellent. I shall keep you informed. Lady you agree? I have a, pro a proposal, if you would hear it. I love that they actually, they do include like the background. Like, it was raining and now it's raining here. I, I'm going to assume like if it's sunny. It's also sunny out there. So did they do all of these scenes with... Like, is, is actually the background... Not really... It's not fixed. It's only this character and his... His chat then. Interesting. Out with it, Master Alfinot. The headquarters of my order, the Science of the Seven Dawn, stands in a place called Reverend Tall, an outpost of Mordona. Like most outposts, it's frequented by merchants and other men of action, and lack the comforts of more well-established settlements. However, the leaders of Reverend Tall have been doing their utmost to change that. To that end, they have need of able-bodied individuals willing to work as frontier hands. Hard labor, lest you doubt, 
uh, with odd we would not save food and shelter by way of reward. Okay, so we'll get food and shelter for hard labor. Terms not unlike those of which you yourself proposed, Lady Igri. Ugri. Though I will not hear a word said against our beloved Ulda, Reverend Stoll would offer certain advantages. The absence of unhelpful bureaucracy will be the most obvious. If they can accompany us, accom accommodate us, we shall gladly accept. Master Alphanut, once again, I find, yourself, I find myself in your debt. Pray do not thank me, my lady. The life of your people is, to, uh, is one of hard labor and few comfort, as I told you. And before that, there remains a matter of how they may safely be born to Reverend Stoll, which will be no small feat considering the distance at their present condition. Mayhap the Uldan uh, uh, Adventurous Guild can be of assistance. Look for me there a nun, Mune. Alright. Go. Lady Ugri, if you and your people would accompany me, we may discuss what aid the immortal flames can provide. We have a samurai, where do we need to go? Okay. Seems the rain is gone, which I really like. Okay, what's this symbol? Okay, is he making a video or... It's possible. You know that... We critically acclaimed MMO... Did you know that the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV has a free trial and includes the entirety of A Realm Reborn and the award-winning Heaven's Word expansion up to level 60 with no restrictions on playtime? Type G pose. Oh, that's the picture one thing. Yeah, you're right. It, it does have a free trial and it is... It's absolutely brilliant. You cannot join FCs, or you cannot hire attainers. You cannot sell or buy from the broker. You know, but it, it's a very good free trial. And I think there was actually, there's sometimes, sometimes that you can actually get, like, the next expansion. But up to level 60 is great. I've seen videos about people doing, like, 1200 hours Final Fantasy on the free trial, which is impressive. So how are you doing, mate? We are concerned that the Doman refugees may find the journey to Reverend Stoll too much to bear. Too long, too long have they been sequestered aboard their ship with insufficient supplies and scare room enough to breathe, let alone stretch their limbs. With that in mind, Mistress Momadi has kindly offered the accommodate to accommodate the Domans until such time as they are ready to set out for Mordona. Those healthy enough to travel will embark as soon as transportation has been secured, while those too weak to leave uh, at once will be permitted to stay until they regain their strength. That is actually quite generous. I've, I've used the, the slash G post trying to do like a guildhouse picture with people. What news? Sorry. Transportation remains our greatest obstacle, General. If there's ought to be, is there aught the immortal flames can do? I fear that exceeds our mandate. It's uh, where it's uh, where uh, were it a smaller number, mayhap it would go unnoticed. 
But the syndicate will not bear the cost of escorting more than 200 domains to Mordona. The government fails to act. The responsibility falls to us private citizens. I will engage the service of the, seven, the, the 77 caravans on the domain's behalf. 77... Oh, they need 77 caravans to... Okay. Very well. We should begin contact, uh, co contract negotiations at once. Your generosity is most welcome, my lord. I don't trust him. Trust him at all, man. After all, that, ha that has befallen these p good people. After all that has befallen these good people, it's the least I can do. Come that may, uh, come that may, you shall ever have a friend in Ulda, lady. And you in Reverend Tor, my lord. Still, Roba is a badass. I don't think she trusts him. Well, it sounds like we have work to do, lady. Let's put our hats together and settle the details of our arrangement, shall we? I would entrust the task of escorting our domained friends to you. After you have rested your own road-weary legs, of course. What say you? Uh, I kind of don't walk. I have a chocobo. Which is, you know, all I need. I can move right away. Uh, the Yugari is ga a game. Oh! Yeah. Okay. As we speak. The domains prepare for departure at Vespa Bay, where from they will be transported by carriage to Ulda. That said, this has all been decided rather suddenly, and it would not surprise me if the refugees require some assistance in coordinating their preparations. Una, would have you return to Vespa Bay and facilitate the process through tasks great and small? In short, whatever you m must needs be done, do it. Speak with a man named Huzan when you arrive. As, uh, as Lady Yuguri tells it, he has been designated the leader of the first group. Okay. I wonder about the price though. I kind of want to check it out. There's so many dies in the game, it's actually elaborate. Greetings, Alpha not informed me that this science would be arriving to help with the preparations. I am honored to meet you, though shamed as well. A great warrior should not be tasked with such trivial trivialities. Ah, I knew from the from a glance what matter of woman you are. I too have some skill at arms, as do many of our people. Pray forgive this trifle, but might I trouble you? to help round up the children that have been given into my care. They are most adept at, to, at staying hidden from my sight, but perhaps your keen eyes will secure where I have failed, or succeed, succeed where I have failed. You have my thanks, friend. Pray seek out my son, Yozan. Uh, he can tell you more. Where is your son then? Oh, he's over there. Look at him stand like. All he's missing is daggers. Hello there, I'm Yozan, son of Hazon, uh, Hozan. <laughs> yeah. Will you be coming with us to Ulda? I hear we're traveling by horse bird brought a drawn carriage. Ah, don't you think they're qu queer? Giant birds that people ride like horses. I still want to ride a uh, try riding one, but what's that? You're looking for the others. 
Don't worry. I've already told them to get ready for the carriages. I'll need your help, though. We were, we, we were just finishing a game of hide-and-seek. Three players are still hidden. And since Lady Yuguri told us to take it really seriously, they won't move until they're found. But Vespa Bay isn't that big, so I bet you can find them in no time. Huh? That really marks a spot now, doesn't it? That be one of them? Yeah. Hey, you're not Yozan. Who are you? I am Okaru. Uh, une, une doce, eh? I didn't know anyone else was... Wait a minute. You're one of those... Um... Stallions, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a stallion. Yeah, that's how... We, uh, no, science, science. Um, then you must know Lady Yuri, right? Isn't she great? She's really good at hide-and-seek, too. All right, it's almost time to go. Nice meeting you, Una. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's another one. Um, are you playing? Ah, no fair. You didn't that say anything about adults. Uh, so we get the right I horse bird carriage. That horse bird carriage is really messing me up. I don't know. Sounds scary. But if you did not say it's safe, I'll go. Can we do... I, I just want to check, check it. I always fail at that. Seriously. <laughs> I always fail at that. It's the Chocobo Sniffing Quest. Yeah. Don't sniff them anymore. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's up? Sorry. Ew, 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 ew. How did you find me? But I guess I need to practice more. Or maybe you're just good at this. I mean, the Guardians didn't find me. Statue man. Wait, oh wait, oh, so I need to go here now. Okay, let me quickly um, get my dogs outside, and then we can...
Right, so waiting for the dogs to be ready. And we can move on for a bit longer. So I want to actually finish up um, 2.2 if I can during this uh, particular stream. Let's take a quick look here. Uh, we have a long way to go actually. Wow. I might not be able to do it. It kind of depends on how fast we're going through him. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. If the dogs behave, it could actually go relatively fast. Oh, planting. Oh no, he's barking. Okay, that's done. So let's see if we can press on. And, uh, and we'll see. Let's talk to Hosen. Wonderful, the children are accounted. Hide and seek. Ah, I see you are curious. It's quite simple, really. Lydia Gris thought it's best that the children know what to do in case the guardians found us. I sh should hope that those days are behind us. But I nevertheless take effort in knowing what we are that we are prepared. Yeah, once again, not going for these. Don't care about the rings. Okay, Hosen, let's go, man. Just the first caravan is due to depart shortly, followed by the rest at a regular interval. My family and I include my stubborn old father, Homai, which I think is probably somewhere around here, who will be traveling in the lead carriage. Uh, together with young uh, Koa Koaru, who I believe you've already met. Though I understand the road to Ulda is regularly patrolled by your brass blades, it would give us great comfort if you were, if you would agree to accompany us on our journey. Once again, I thank you for your kindness. When you are ready to leave, please inform our coachman. 
Okay. Go then. Are you transporting something else today? Eager to be off, are you? Aye, well, I wasn't meaning to have. I, I, I was meaning to have a word with you about that. Runner for the bla for the blade say we might have a problem. A fierce-looking beastie been sighted south of the bridge of Hemily. Might be as someone's eyes are playing tricks on. Might be as someone's eyes are playing tricks on him. Of course, but I don't pay to gamble in this business. Now I know you can handle yourself in a fight, but this lot here is another story. So I was thinking, you might go ahead and have a quick look around. Make sure the area is safe. Like, and if you come across anything dangerous, you know what to do. When you satisfy the way is clear, meet us outside the horizon. The blades tell me the road there is safe, so I reckon we can make it that far on our own. Assuming the self-same bastard doesn't try to rob us, that is. Alright, where do we need to go? Outside there. Uh, you know what, let's just teleport. Oh, it's, I see the... Uh, let's activate some of the bobs. That would have saved us a tiny bit of money. I still love this view. It's so magnificent. Oh, there he is. This is almost at the front door. Wait, really? I'm very happy that he does a skill. So he's locked in place. Wait, that's it. Seventy. That's way better. <coughs> I could switch to my like my heal and dispel him, but streaming doing MSQ two point two. How? Uh, how about you? Let's take a look here. Yeah? So there was a beastie. Was being the operative word. <laughs> he looks like a thief. Well fought, man, and well fought. Ah, if only I were in better health, I should have been proud to stand at your side. Oh, that's his father. Pay my son no mind. He forgets that his responsibilities preclude action of a uh, daring, daring do. Okay. Hmm. That, uh, be that as it may, I cannot help but envy you. We all have been able to call upon heroes of your strength and skill in Doma. Things would have been very different. But we cannot change the past. Those who fought and fell are forever lost to us. Lost but not forgotten. Lady Yugari kinsmen least of all. They fought fierce. Though they knew fully well it was in vain. She, shall be, uh, she had every right to walk away. Yet she chose to stay. Food, shelter, the promise of a better life. All this and more we owe to her. How does one 
ever, uh, even begin to repay such a debt. In kind, father, um, to see who has given everything, she shall give our all. We shall give our all. Whatever work there is to be done, we shall do without question. Ditch digging, uh, brick laying, no, uh, it matters not. Reverend Tall will grow and prosper by our hands. I do hope so. You know, that would be nice. We see Reverend Tall grow. Growing. Okay. Fight to the death? Oh, hey, Miss Una. Gunnar and I want to know why you became an adventurer. Um... To go where the wild rose blooms? Does this actually matter? Really? So it did actually grow. That is cool. Did not know that. Um, I'll just go with the f the last one. Hey, they're like. Oh my god. So you like roses? I think I understand. I mean, they're nice and everything, but. I, but don't they grow in lots of places? It's my turn now. Excuse me, miss. I've got a question. What Reverend Tor like? Is it pretty? It's a dump. It's a stone throw from an imperial castrum. It's home to the science of the Seven Dawn. It's a bastion of civilization. It's hearts and unforgiving wilderness. It is bustling out both frequently by countless. It's a bustling. Let's go with that one. You mean, there are a lot of people that who are just as strong as you. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, now Grandpa's going to ask a question, or... Enough. It's my turn again. Because, you know, when I'm older, I want to be strong like you. What do I have to do? Uh, seek out new experiences and adventures? Fight ferocious beasts. Train every day. Buy weapons and armor from Rowena. <laughs> Train every day. Ah, so my father was right. How do I? Uh, how do you do it then? Come on, tell me, and don't leave out anything. Please stop him. All right, all right, that's enough. That's not fair. Why does Yozan get to ask two questions? I want to know about adventuring just as much as he does. Just one more, please. Do you think I would be an adventurer like you one day? Nah. Oh my god, that simple ad knock. Really? Then I will. Thanks for your advice. I won't forget it. I'm going to be adventurer too. That's nice. You get the Reverend's tour. Let's make an adventurer's guild for domains. We'll protect our friends and punish the wicked, just like Miss Una and Lady Yukari. Yeah, just like... Oh shit, he's just replying. Uh, we can talk more about it when the carriage uh, with the within the carriage on the way. Will you be joining us? I please let me just teleport. I uh, maybe not. That is a great view. Ah, oh, that's a bit dark. That's a bit dark. I will remove that one later. Uh, oh, he's going to bed. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Um, let's go. How do you do that again with those caps? It's like, good night, and then you do tap, and then say. How? Wait. Whatever. Good night. I don't understand the option, whatever. Uh, let's go to, into the quicksand. So we'll run up the stairs. We actually... Oh, man, it's so... See, I told you. It's... Again, it's gloomy. But you, <laughs> yeah, good night, John. I think he's already gone. Usually he's quite quick to... 
Yeah, there we go. Wow, you don't see that every time. Everyone offline. Oh, we'll get that. The gate of the Sultanate. And I believe... Yeah, this is where the Traumaturgy is. I finally figured out how to pronounce that one. So good night isn't found. Yeah, apparently no. It's it's a uh, uh, what if I say night? No. Apparently it's not. Good. Good evening. Good night. Yeah, there's a space in between of that. Yeah, there we go. It, it does work. It's just... I always think it's one word for one stupid reason. I don't know why. Good night looks like a thing started with good night. That which doesn't exist. Yeah, because apparently good and night. Good night is, uh, is two words. Makes sense, I guess. Good morning. I thought it was one word. Well, uh, whatever. This off you not. Ah, you know, I take it first group has arrived. Excellent. Um, is that odd else? No, no. I've I've met us. Uh, I have met us well in hand here. You and Lady Yugori should travel to Reverend Stall forthwith. I'll go with the money. Okay, off you not. All due respect. Uh oh. It is past time that you would me met with uh, the guild representatives in Reverend Stall. Since I do not foresee any further matters arising here in Teladon, which might require your p since much might require your personal attention, I would instead have you serve as an escort to the Domen delegation for the duration of our journey. Speak first with Staff Born upon your arrival. He is one with whom the Dolans will be working most closely, I should think. Afterward, introduce Lady Yuguri to Minfilia and uh, at the Guild Emissary. If both meetings go well, the resulting ties should stand the Dolans in good stead for that which is to come. Safe travels on it. Go. Oh, wait. Um, can I do that from over here? Let's take a look. We'll be traveling here quite often. Can I not make it? No, okay. We'll, we'll go there. And we'll make it a favorite place. We can always use return to go to Limsa. Right? Every half hour. And this way, we actually should get a discount. Favorite destination. There you go. And that should give a discount. I believe that is how it works. So there's Slavborn. And this must be the esteemed Lady Yuguri and her associates. I greet you all as friends and bid you welcome to the tall. Well, that doesn't sound very exciting. I hope you do not find your... Uh, for, for a moment I thought it's death. But derf. To... Derf of fineries of pudding. Poor though we may seem, we have a wealth of spirit. And caramadri to spare. Comadri to spare. You see? Race and creed don't enter into it here. We welcome all sorts. Provided they are willing to earn their keep, of course. We are no strangers to hard work, Master Staffborn. We may rest. You may rest assured that we are willing to ta to carry out your orders with due diligence. Oh, not for a moment did I doubt your commitment, my lady. Pray understand. I give the same speech to all new arrivals, and you didn't. You needn't. Needn't. Need not. Bow your head and call me master either. We are both frontier hands as far as I'm concerned. As you wish. 
Slavborn. May this meeting mark the beginning of a long and fruitful relationship. Our guests have yet to meet your dissident. Seven hells in a... What are you wasting time with me? See to them to the rising stones. That moustache, man. That moustache. Yeah. That's a no, no. Okay. To whom much is given, much is expected. Forgive me. I require a moment to compose my thoughts before meeting with your leader. I shall join you at the rising suit, a stone, and none. Great, I'll just go in myself, man. Okay, Minfilia. It's no use. Oh yeah, I was going to say, like she's probably still trying to get to the students of Obeldestian. Our attempts to reach the students of Obeldestian continues to meet with failure. Urange has explored other avenues of inquiry, but they too have yielded not. We will preserve, of course, yet within our heart the truth is clear. We are but awaiting confirmation of that which we already know. How fair the domains. I am giving to understand that we keep quite busy in Vesper Bay. May I have your question the wisdom of aiding refugees with the primal, with the primal threat remains unsolved. When the primal, okay never mind. I should not blame you if you did. Nor would I deny that it's a matter, this matter falls outside our normal purview. But that is, but that as it may, I could not ignore the plight of these refugees. Not when it was within our power to help them. Lady Yugori is here, please show her in. I should very much like to meet her. We have no objections. Pray do with our blessing. Pray, pray do so with our blessing. I'm going to assume she's just right off going to answer. Your, ans your answers pleases me beyond words, my lady. But are you quite certain? We have no way of knowing how many, how many might answer are my summons. And in that event, in the event that Reverend Stoll could not accommodate us all, we would need to find an alternative solution. And we'll just build houses. Should that come to pass, we will find it together. As ever, it has been a pleasure, at Dissident. Alas, we must take our leave as the first carriages are due to arrive at any moment. Should you require else, uh, aught else, pray speak to Slavborn. Sounds easy. I feel like very much left out if I stand over there. There we go. Um, Lamin and I will make the necessary preparations to ensure that our dome and friends feel at home upon their arrival. Though I must admit I'm still troubled about the matter of the missing crystals. Okay, so we're just going back to the crystals again, I guess. Your stola should be returning a nun with the report from a field. Mayhap you could wait here and speak with her upon her arrival. I, I guess he's here then. Then sure it is. How goes the fishing? Caught anything slippery? Wow, I actually had a bit of a jump scare over there. I did not expect him to start talking. Aye. Our suspicions were well founded. 
The Serpent Reavers are indeed the culprits. Again. The plot thickens. Has there been any movement in Thanalan? It has been blessedly quiet. Which is to say the Amalja are being no more or less of a nuisance than usual, summoning a freet with such crystals as they have hoarded. Urianger too reports not out of the ordinary. Then we have our explanation. Your explanation for what, pray tell? For the recent spate of crystal thefts in Thanalan, we naturally assumed that the trail would lead us back to the Amalja. Yet it did not. It led us across the sea unto Vilbrand. Vilbrand? There have, have been, been reports of increased Sahagin activity of late. Oh gods, they mean to summon Leviathan? That is the way of it, I fear. Whilst conducting our investigation on behalf of the Mineral Concern, we came upon evidence implicating the Serpent Reavers. With the aid of the Maelstrom, I was able to verify our suspicions. It is only a matter of time before Leviathan returns to harrow the seas. But there is more. One of the Sahagin, an elder by my judgment, spoke of attaining the gift and knowledge of eternity. Oh. <clears throat> uh. Okay. Such a disturbance in the ether. If I did not know better, I should think this device defective. And there is the explanation. Oh, he is ugly. <laughs> Soon Soon it shall begin. Our Lord shall rise mid surging waves to wash away the finless one. You might want to have someone look at your forehead, mate. And I shall be granted the gift and knowledge of eternity. And with the emissary stand equal. Then shall I know no cessation. No oblivion. Whence comes this promise of immortality? The emissary? We have outstayed our welcome. So convenient that the echo just explains an important part of the story then. The gift and knowledge. Are the two of you quite well? You you shared that vision, did you not? Even before the Sahagin made mention of the emissary, I recognized Elidibus's words. He is behind this. What armor? <laughs> but surely it is not within his power to grant the echo. Yes, he My is. Lady, unless we act swiftly, Leviathan will rise again. The Admiral has already requested that we intervene to prevent this. Failing that, we are to attend the Primal's extermination. She will have our full cooperation. Let us make haste to Limsa Lominsa. I mean to play a part in this mission. Tataru, pray, take charge in my absence. My lady, are you sure this is wise? Yeah, we'll, we'll go in, charge in. I am aware of the risks, but there is something I must see with mine own eyes. The true nature of the Echo. Very well. I shall not stand in your way. On the condition that you permit me to accompany you as bodyguard. 
Your company is ever welcome, Thancred. I take it something ill is afoot. Oh shit. A primal is about to be loosed upon Eorzea. But why are you actually in this meeting? Like... A primal? Like, they, they completely forgot she was in the room or something. Like, they started a very important meeting. And they were like, Yeah, that's fine. You, you can stick around while we discuss our secret business. A godlike being whose very existence is a bane upon the land. We scions of the Seventh Dawn are sworn to put an end to their kind. Oh, look at her being all jolly. I see. Know then that I am learned in the arts of war. In return for the kindness you have shown my people, I would lend you my blade. It would be most welcome. When contending with a primal, one can never have too many able allies. If you crave a more intimate understanding of the problems facing Eorzea, this experience is like to provide it. Be sure to come well prepared. Okay. The sea arises. Plainly, we should... Uh, should the worst come to pass, the Leviathan is summoned. Our, uh, your, oh, our only resources, uh, resource will be to face him. Or recourse, actually. Our only recourse will be to face him in battle. Given past experience, you may very well think that eventuality inevitable i think so yeah yet as long as there is a chance that the primal's return might be prevented we must need uh, we must need bend all our efforts towards achieving that goal before we do aught else let us hasten to limsa minza and meet with the admiral so will not have been idle in the intervening time and will doubtless have valuable information to share okay uh, Limsa. Limsa it is. It says Limsa Liminza. Let's go. There is a bunch of umbrellas over here. My god, there is a lot of them. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, I thought so. Don't have to be here. Need to continue. Why does this um, the quest icon has this icon in there? Like I don't recall that. Like is that new that they have this? Oh, well, it's probably nothing. Okay, no voice. Okay, um, don't know what it's saying. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking like it, 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 it just gives you like you need to go through this to get there, but I don't see like what value. Like, I don't get it. Like, I'm sure they're up for something. Like, you don't add an icon like that for no reason, right? But what value does it have? Escort quest. I don't think it is. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Well, he... Uh, yeah, well, okay. Welcome, friends. I think Jostola has apprised you of the situation. Let us waste no time, then. According to our best intelligence, the Shagarin had not, uh, had not crystals enough to summon their guard. And as we did not count on the Serpent Reavers venturing as far as Teleland to supplement their catch... For our short-sightedness, we are faced with a grim prospect of Leviathan imminent return. Needless to say, I'm not inclined to let the fish bags have their way. Even as we speak, the Maelstrom makes ready for, uh, to launch a, uh, a large-scale operation toward the summoning. 
and we should welcome the science support in this endeavor. But if, God forbid, our efforts should come for naught, I will need to trouble you for more than mere support. Much as I did when, Ty uh, when Titan last walked these lands. My Lady Minfilia, I'm giving to understand that you mean to accompany our soldiers to the front lines. I can assume you have sound reason for doing so. I do, Admiral, but I would rather not be drawn in... I would not be drawn on their nature. I will say only that there is something I would need to see with my own eyes. Is that so? Well... I'm not so stubborn as to deny the wishes of those who ate, of the, the, of the ones whose aid I require, but precaution has been, uh, must be taken. I shall require you to remain by my side at all times. With that settled, let us speak of the operation. Lieutenant Dosen, our scouts are currently reckoning, uh, rec Coordinating. This is such a weird word for me. I just our scouts are scouting the Shagarin movement within the uh, spawning grounds. Upon completing their mission, they will return to the operation staging point at Camp Skull Valley. I want you to make your way there forthwith, that you might be apprised of our legion's intelligence. Uh, the commander has charge of the garrison. <clears throat> okay, with that anyway. Uh, wording in the patch note was a bit ambitious, saying that it was to denote escort in quest. More easily understand explanation is that it denotes any quest that will transport you. Oh! Yeah, actually that does make sense. Completely missed it, quest notes. I, I, I hardly read them. Because, well, I'm not at endgame yet, so I don't think there's a lot that will change in this these versions. Let's go. Uh, it should be over there. I've been expecting you, Science of the Seven Dawn. On behalf of the men and women here, I thank you for your cooperation. The safety of our citizens is paramount. With your aid, we will prevent Leviathan's return. As you may already know, the Millstrom Scouts have been dispatched to uh, scout out these spawning grounds. Uh, though it Pains me to admit it, the Maelstrom has never faced a foe the likes of this before. We must proceed with all due caution. Amongst other things, they have orders to determine whether Leviathan might emerge, assuming it comes to that. And yet, their returns is long overdue. I fear that ill may have befallen them. For better or for worse, we must ascertain their faith. If it's not too much to ask, I would have you aid us in that search. Five scouts ventured into... Sapsa as told. Here, take this flask of restorative to tend to those who may have been wounded. Though it pains me to even consider the notion, if they have perished, circumstances permitting, I ask that you recover their bodies. By no means venture too deep into enemy territory. However, if, uh, however, we can ill afford to lose you at our juncture. Uh, I, I won't be flying too much for this because, you know, I say too much while I continuously, immediately start flying. Where do we need to go, by the way? Uh, it's actually not too far away. Uh, we're level 53. All of these will still attack me. Especially the level 44s. We just rush.
Oh, there it goes. Oh, he doesn't look too healthy. Let's go. Rescue him. Poor soul. You're not really blending in with the uh, the surroundings, are you? Thank you, you're my life. We were ambushed by these serpent reavers. Lightly armed as we are, we didn't stand a chance. I was able to flee this far, but the others were captured. They were taken to the serpent's tongue, I'm certain of it. And I can make my own way back to camp, but I fear the worst for my comrades. Save them, I beg of you. Alright, so we, we go left. Very good. I'm going to be assuming we'll be fighting a lot here. Very weird place door. Huh. Well, we'll see what happens. Start running. Take the... Um, the view up. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, that doesn't look too good. Oh, we could also have used height. I completely forgot about that. Okay, it seems like only two of them died. Uh, I don't know where... There's five of them. Right, now we can just fly. We need to go back anyways. did say something about me flying not so much but okay you've returned thanks to the navigator when I learned what what you went wait, wait when I learned that you went to the serpent's tongue by yourselves I feared the worst that you would meet an untimely demise but tell me what became of the others dear God these wounds were not intended to kill, but to torture and maim. Thus, their savagery know no bounds. Enemies or not, they go too far. I dread to think what may have become of the two of the two who remain unaccounted for. I pray that they haven't suffered the same ill faith. At the very least, one of my men came back alive, and for that I owe you my thanks. The price we paid was dear, but we have the intelligence we need. Even as we speak, the Admiral finalizes the details of the operation. The war horns will sound any moment now. We will we uh, be ready to sail forth when they do. What's he doing? Tries them fishback bastards. I'll kill them slowly and then cast their rotten souls through all seven hells. Peace, Commander. We are here for a uh, purpose, and vengeance is not it. I want you to mind. I want your mind on the task at hand, Savvy. My apologies, Admiral. You may count on me to keep a clear head. Good. According to our soul... Survey, uh, soul surviving scout, the Shagarin and their trolls have already begun to amass at the Ephorite at the depths of Septa. If we are to act, 
It must be now. The men are ready, but await your orders, Admiral. As predicted, the Shagarin have tightened, tightened security in and around their spawning ground. A frontal assault is like to be met with fierce resistance. Ah, but we are not so artless as that, Commander. We give uh, div uh, we shall divide our forces and strike them hard and fast at key locations. Remember, our ultimate objective is to take the Sepsar Ephorite and eliminate the Shagarin Priest presiding over the summoning. We are not here to kill them all. The Maelstrom shall engage and distract the Shagarin's legion of drowned pirates wow at the serpent's tongue commander you have charge over this effort be mindful that the lay of the land here is devilish for attacking forces let the foreign levy spearhead the assault and have subsequent units fan out to cover their flanks so basically we're throwing in the foreigners first and then we just you know Try not to get them all killed. At the self same moment, a divisionary squadron formed of galleons from the Crimson Fleet shall harry the enemy from offshores. It is likewise in uh, in likewise the science shall form smaller units in hopes of confusing the sugar in defensive effort. Une and Yastola, the two of you are to make your way to the site of the summoning ritual. The Admiral's diversion should serve to thin the enemy's defenses, rendering our path less perilous. A small party, I believe, should be able to win through without drawing unwanted attention. Now we can just fly, land on top of the crystal. Dashrit, Yushri uh, and Yuguri. Your mission is to lure as many Sagarins as possible out of the spawning ground. Having done so, take to your heels and circle around to rejoin the infiltration unit of your Stola and Une. When all has been set in motion, I shall I myself shall cut a path to the Ephorite, accompanied by Lady Minfilia, as was agreed. Well, do not keep. Uh, don't let me keep you, friends, to battle. I kind of like these daggers. When last did we fight side by side in it? Too long ago, I warrant. But come, let us away. And we need to go there. goes really fast as soon as you fly you immediately feel like the boost I wish that assassination would have been stronger. Oh, like so. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So flying is absolutely the fastest thing you can actually do. Uh-oh, I fucked up already. There you go. 
still have 12 seconds on the cooldown. I need to go one of those. I'll do those later, not right now. Ha! Ha! Uh, we have muck and trick attack up, assassinate the stronger. Do something like this then. So I actually remind myself, what's he doing? Wait, you you've been out of shape, you stole. Ready not concern yourself, it was but a glancing blow. Come, the Ephorite is close at hand. Let us press on. Uh increasing target damage taken. That's from trick, I guess, right? of soldiers and civilians both. Did I miss much? Okay, when do I get that attack? Oh. So that is how you fight in the Far East. Mental note, pick no quarrel with Domans. But seriously, if I am to keep up, I must needs forsake elegance or efficiency. How long do they, these two things stay? Is that a few seconds? So it's going to be important that I keep Mug and Trick up at all times. Like the other buffs. Makes sense. Negative. 
So only when I'm doing like a large ass attack or something then. You'll forgive me my lateness. Absolutely badass. Bloody dream team. I've been something of a liability of late, I know. Tis high time I set about making amends. I don't think time works in the Netherlands like that, no. <laughs> sensation it's the echo what I guess that's everlasting. 
Alright, time to kick primal ass, I guess. Where, where did he go? Oh, maybe not. What say you? Nary a single ship. Hells take that sea demon. Gather the survivors and get to shore. Leave the wrecks for the pirates. Leviathan wastes no time. The diversionary squadron is lost. For a mercy, it would seem the primal now makes for open sea. But why does he not press his advantage? Unless... God save us. He means to unleash a tidal wave. Yeah, that would be bad. Unspent, I speak of no ordinary water wall, of wall of water. That which Leviathan makes ready to conjure carries more destructive power than art seen in nature. Enough to raise entire coastal settlements. If his last attempt, if his last attempt is any guide, we cannot suffer history to be repeated. Yet, how in the Seven Hells are we going to prevent it? Though our plight carries out for action, we must take and we must take thought. So as long as Levine remains in open sea, he is effectively beyond our reach. Our fleet is second to none, if that you of that you may be sure, but Leviathan herself would struggle to best the Lord. But Lemanian, Limian, uh, would herself would struggle to best the Lord of Wor uh, World in the, uh, his element. In a straight fight, he would make meat and matchwood of us. We need another plan, and much is plain. Let us return to Limsa and see if we cannot think of one. We shall await you in the command room. I shall await you in the command room. Sure. It's cool. keep doing it I keep trying to I love the looks though he's been really gathering those seals I think he used it to actually dress alike there used to be a hamlet beyond South Tidegate in western Lanosha Hearthstone it was called some years prior to the Maelstrom's founding, Leviathan rose from the briny depths and set about unleashing watery hell upon us. On that occasion, the company of heroes put him down before he could do too much damage. But when the bastard came next, this time in the wake of the Calamity, we were not so fortunate. Weary of ravaging our shoreline, he summoned a tidal wave which fair leveled Hearthstone and washed the soil away for good measure. Was Hearthstone then a village that was there in version 1? I'm, I'm assuming like version 1 is before the Calamity. The area was subsequently occupied by the Sahagin. Aye, the thrice damned creatures transformed it into a spawning ground for their brood. Given the quantity of crystal stolen to feed him and his legion of thralls, we can be fairly sure that Leviathan is stronger now than in his previous incarnations. If that sea demon is left to wreak havoc, what befell Hearthstone may well befall a larger settlement, even Limsa. 
the question was, was Halfstone a village in version 1.0? Because I believe that the calamity is actually that, but that started version two. That cannot happen. The primal must be stopped. That was ever our objective, Admiral. But how are we to achieve it? The sea is Leviathan's uncontested domain. The ships of the third squadron could not close to within a hundred yards of the primal, nor could their cannons pierce his defenses. I have read the reports, Master Thancret. Our warships may as well have been bloody pleasure barges for all the good they did. Seven hells! Is there no way that we might strike back? The company of heroes defeated Leviathan, having first lured him into an inlet. But we must needs contend with him upon the open sea. It will avail us little to consult past experience. Oh, like so, okay. Admiral, if I may. Speak freely, Marshal. By all accounts, Leviathan's most formidable weapon is the very sea itself. Waves and whirlpools, tides and currents, all these things are his to command. The key to victory, I believe, lies in disarming our foe. Is this, is this the voice of Sid? <clears throat> This, in effect, is what the company of heroes achieve with their ruse. We cannot lure Leviathan from the sea a second time. But what if we could weaken his hold upon the element of water? I have heard of devices capable of such wonders. They draw upon the power of corrupted crystals, I am told. If mounted upon a ship, such a device might be used to prevent Leviathan from bringing the full force of the sea to bear against us, rendering him no more dangerous than any other sea serpent. Of course! Sid built a similar device to grant the Enterprise safe passage through Garuda's Tempest, did he not? Begging your pardon, my lady, but to give credit where it's due, this is something I heard from an old arcanist friend of mine. It makes little difference who thought of it first, so long as it works. Beg the specifications of this device from your friend, and I shall pass them on to our people at Naldic and Vermelis. But before we proceed any further, I would voice one concern. Piercing Garuda's defenses is one thing. Suppressing Leviathan's attacks quite another. In matters of science, I am as a babbling babe. But I cannot well imagine that such a feat would be possible without a veritable mountain of corrupted crystals. The question being, do we have a ship big enough to bear such a burden? Mayhap not, Admiral. But too might. Recall you the tale of Mistbeard's greatest haul? It is said that he lashed two ships together side by side, the better to bear his plunder. By your leave, we might attempt to repeat the trick. The gods know it would be quicker than building a new vessel. Mistbeard did this. Truly, Marshal, upon the subject of the Pirate King, you are as a scholar. Now, from what I have gleaned of these matters, the device will need to be in close and constant proximity to the target. To wit, we must lash our twin vessel to Leviathan. This in itself will be no small feat. Ramming speed will be required, but given the weight of the cargo, that will only be attainable with the aid of a towing vessel. Suffice it to say, the task of piloting said vessel will entail considerable danger. 
and I would not ask it of another. I volunteer myself. It will be dangerous for all involved, but we have no better recourse. Very well. Commodore, assemble the remnants of the fleet at Moraby Bay. Give priority to our soundest vessels. The repairs can wait. Storm Marshal Slapierson, command of the operation is yours. I want that twin vessel ready to sail post haste. At once, Admiral. And then there is the small matter of slaying the beast. The fate of Limsa Lominsa rests upon your shoulders once again. Go well, warrior of light. Okay. Being held as gods also exist in what you call the Far East. Legends tell us that they walked amongst us in days of yore, but I confess that I never truly believed them. That I should live to behold one is humbling and horrifying in equal measure. Now that I have come face to face with a primal, I do begin to understand why the Guardians fear them so. What is it? I hope we're ready. A message, Admiral. I be judge is best that it be delivered at once. I'm listening. According to the Yellow Jackets, a man has appeared who claims to have defeated Leviathan. Oh God, no! One of the company of heroes. The details are yet hazy, Admiral. We have dispatched one of our own to question the individual. Don't tell me it's the same guy with, with, what was it again? With Ifrit. Hmm. I am disinclined to put any story by its claim. But even, and even should it be true, it is as your solar said, non save the, uh, non save the company of heroes have bested Leviathan. And we know how they went about it. If this man is of their number, what could he tell us that we do not already know? And yet, having waged uh, limbs of survival on two ships, some rope, and a pile of crystals, we can afford to ignore. Can we afford to ignore this man? If his testimony could yield us a manner of advantage, should we not hear it? Damn it all! The twin vessel should be ready. Uh, we'll soon be ready. We have no time to wait for the Maelstrom's report on the uh, supposed primal slayer's claim. Une. Seek him out and learn what he knows. At the very least, it will spare you the torment of waiting for the reckoning in idleness. The man you're looking for is a rental in a glaive fleet in lower uh, Nosea. Nos oh my god. Whatever. The storm private sent to question him should already be in the vicinity. May your journey prove fruitful. Oh, don't tell me it's him. Oh, it's going to be him. Yep. Yeah, it's him. Ah, damn it. Um, I think it won't be a long. It, it, this won't be a long mission. I I can. Uh, come on, man. It's the same location, it has to be him. La Nosea, that's the one, yeah. Yep. Now look here, you. 
You have your bloody story right after you carry those sacks of grain over to the mill. But sir, that's what you said before you had me pick those oranges from you. And before I mocked out the chocobo stables. And before I rolled that millstone over to the mill. And also before... Just, it still doesn't have a pen. Gods, man. I've worked three days straight without a wink of sleep. Three days. And do you hear me complaining? <laughs> Chocobo. Ah, I suppose some of us ain't made for the rougher stuff. All right, all right. I'll give you what you want. Never let it be said that old Trachtum ain't a generous soul. Now, prickle up your ears, because I won't be repeating myself. Too modest, see? Besides, there's only so much epicness a man can take in one sitting, you kid. And he's technically complaining about he's not sleeping? Oh. Well. Sorry, I'm looking at the crutch and I just. I'm just I can't. Jesus Christ. Never mind. Can I move this? Uh, the tales of Tantra's epic victory over the dread primal Leviabetus. Now, Leviabetus is huge, make no mistake. I give you the idea how big each of his scales is about as wide uh, across as me members long. Ain't that no mean feat, let me tell you. Yeah, distracted by the quote. And, and not because, like, mm, no, I'm like, oh, dude, seriously, wear a freaking pants. This is not an outfit. You know, you can have leopard print all you want, but at least just do, do shorts. Man, you're wearing a diaper. When I fought him, I could barely see f uh, fair all the brine he was planting me with. Must have been lagoons worth at least. He even knocked me trusty axe out of me hand at one stage. Of course. That proved me to that proved to be a grave mistake. <laughs> Who happened next? Why I grabbed him by the tail and tied him up in knots. But not wanting to take all the glory for myself, I let me mates in the company of heroes handle the rest. Like I said, I am modest as well as heroic. Perhaps too modest. Now there's some as say you can never truly beat Leviabetus. That's that you've got to learn to live with him and make the best of a bad situation. Not the company, though. Can we just just can we just do something about this, please? Oh, it's you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I was just enjoying the attention. It's all. I take back anything I said. I was never part of the company, Ferris. I'm no marauder. I'm actually a complete coward. I'm nothing. I'm chocobo dung. I'm chocobo dung? What the f- what, what? Okay. That's too personal. No. I'm the maggots you find wingling in a chocobo's dung. God. Damn it. Oh, the... Oh, that's this. That that's that's too much. I have to live. I have to lie to women to tumble them, and that don't happen much. My member's tiny. It's pathetic. I sure as hell didn't fight Levea, but the beaters, but but I have seen with me. It, I have seen him with my own two eyes. It was a fair few years back when I was working as a baker's hand. I was sh shrinking my duties one day, loitering about the harbour when I saw it. A big, a great big massive sea serpent comes arms off the coast, with a fleet of galleons making straight for it, cannons firing. It was so bloody, I was so bloody scared. I sawed myself right there and then. He's also using the diaper, but to make it seem... Yeah, it must be. Oh, man, this is... This, 
I, I sometimes think in pictures. It's not helping. Wow, oh god, just remembering the day makes me sore myself all over again. Oh uh, wait, if you're asking ab ab after, if you're asking after uh, Livia Beatus, it means you're planning to fight him, mind you. Well, take care. He really is terrible, dreadful, I tell you. If you're not careful, you'll end up in his gullet or at the bottom of the sea. He's right, you. You can actually get to the bottom of the sea. Why you worthless lying, old son? I cannot believe you made me handle. You made me handle choke about dung. Tiny, tiny, was in the middle of the carpet. Don't copy me. Oh, she's actually calling. Of course. We know it's been failure. Were you able to learn? Yeah, I know. I beg your pardon? Leviah Beefus? Oh, I see. That's unfortunate. At any rate, I have tidings for you. The twin vessel is now complete. We await you at Morbana, uh, Morbay's dry dock. Please make your way here as soon as you're able. Jesus. <laughs> no, that's not good. That's not good, man. <laughs> I'm told your jaunt to the Grey Fleet proves fruitless. My sympathies, lass. I'll wager it's, uh, it served to take your mind off the events of recent days, though. But enough of that nonsense. The moment of truth is upon us. The twin vessel, the world eater, it's co I called her, is complete. And she surpasses all my expectations. In addition to her progenous ton dash, she has been fitted with a platform that you and yours might maneuver freely and better. I would mention also that she is nigh, nigh sinkable. But I am not one to temper fate. Yeah. The wall eater and the crew stands ready, my friend. Just give the world and we shall bear you to Leviathan. Ah, I know the look. You are ready. Having been Having, having been constructed in the in some haste, the wall either may not be pretty, but I assure you she's capable. She has been fitted with that your friends at uh, with, with that with what your friends at Nelkin Veramils are calling an, an elemental converter. Assuming the thing works, it will use the power of the corrupted crystal aboard to rob Leviathan of its hold over water. Depending on how the battle unfolds, you may well need to activate the device manually. Keep that in mind. I don't remember when you actually do need to activate it. I think it's if it flies over straight, then you need to activate it. It is as expected that the Shagarin and their trolls will attempt to come to Leviathan's defenses. According to the Maelstrom, we're, uh, accordingly, the Maelstrom will once again employ diversions. Treasure and Yastola, I would have you assist in this effort. If it's to fulfill, it's, if it is to fulfill its purpose, your diversionary force must not wait for numbers by your leave. I would volunteer my blade okay we would welcome it having you seen fight and sapsa i dare say the fishbacks will find your presence highly diverting then in your stola i would uh if you would join the third levy and lady yugra the fifth uh it kind of circles the boat so once it circles the boat you need to activate it okay but what words have I for the woman 
who has made a sport of slaying gods. Only these. Go warily. For the sea is, unforgi is, a sea, uh, for the sea is an unforgiving place to wage war. May the navigator guide you through the storm, warrior of light. I would echo in the Admiral's sentiment and add a few words of my own. I know that we all have the utmost faith in you, eh? May the crystal bless you and keep you. Yes, we'll find out. I believe it's like two more missions. Yeah, the whole eater and then... Yeah, I don't think I have the time. That's, that's a bit annoying. Especially not when you were trying to do this as a... Um, let's turn it off. Doesn't tell you like which one he doesn't do. Two, two, four. Well, we had the same problem like last time. And unfortunately, I do think that I kind of don't want to do this right now. I've been streaming for a while now. And I kind of need to sleep because I have a night shift coming up tonight. Actually, a few hours. So, uh, there was a lot of reading. Uh, it's a cliffhanger, I know. Uh, shall we just give it an attempt? You know what? Let, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Eight minutes. Let's see if we can fill the tank and the the healers fast. I might. Let's give it a let's give it a minute to see what what happens. Wait, that's it. I know uh, one of the FC already like got offline because it was 3 a.m. No one is actually online right now. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I don't think that's happening, guys. Yeah, we'll have to wait until another time. This this is mandatory for the story. Now, when I'm having the night shift tonight, I'll be working on my miner and my botanist a bit. And um, I'll leave the story stuff. Like, I will do the leveling because you can easily level it. And then we'll just do the story stuff. So next time we'll finish version 2.2 because it's just three missions. One of them is this... Uh, this duty, this trial, this, uh, and then the others is just talkative. And then we go into version 2.3, and we'll do quest for the mining and the botanist guild. Anyways, let me cue myself out of this, because that is absolutely not happening now. And I'll bid you a very, very good day, midday, evening, or night. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.